You know what's awesome? Romans? Let's make a toga and a laurel wreath. I'd say it's high time to do so. Let's do it. Good call. The materials you shall be using to make your laurel wreath are as follows. Some laurel leaves, some green tissue paper, covered wire, wire clippers, a nice pretty red ribbon, and some scotch tape. You can start by taking those nifty shades off, you animal. Your first step is to wrap the wire into a headband-like state, curling the ends inwards. Now cut out some long strips of tissue paper. Now wrap your tissue paper around the headband-like wire. You can use the scotch tape to hold it in place. Your next step is to put the laurel leaves on the headband. You can do this by simply taping them, and if the stem isn't long enough, you can rip off the back of the leaf. Once you've reached the halfway point, you'll want to start taping them from the other direction, as all of the leaves should be facing forwards. And finally, tie your pretty red ribbon onto the back of the headdress. The laurel leaves symbolize victory, which is why they still have them on Olympic medals today. Your toga materials are as follows. A cheap cloth, purple's a good choice, some scissors, a gold ribbon or braid, and a plain white tee. Your first task is to cut a semicircle into the fabric. We used leaves to mark this down, and folded the fabric to make it easier. Now, put on the plain white tee and tie the gold ribbon around your waist. Ask your slave, or a friend if you don't have any slaves, to hold the long straight edge of the fabric behind you. Drape a corner of the toga over your left arm and shoulder. Have your slave bring the rest of the fabric to the front under your right arm. Tuck a few folds into the ribbon and fold the rest of the toga over your left arm or your left shoulder. Now ask for your laurel wreath. In Republican Rome, victorious generals were awarded with the purple robe. Later, emperors claimed this color to mark their royal status. This was a project that was built by the Yes Mag Project. Thank <laughs> you.